Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Swills here and today I'm continuing a trend that for some reason blew up the uniform trend. I started with the Falcons. I have it's, it's like a record number of views on my channel. It's going to end up being it's already like over 200, which is insane. Thank you guys for viewing the video, liking it, commenting, showing your support. I appreciate it. For those of you that subscribed as well, I appreciate it. You'll see more of this in the future for sure. Um, but today we're going to be talking about the Browns uniforms. Now, I would talk about the Colts, but it wasn't it wasn't a huge deal in the news. It wasn't, you know, it was just a slight change in a little secondary logo, which is nice. It's a nice logo, by the way. Um, it's a good thing they didn't change the classic horseshoe, though, because you can't get rid of that. Um, but the Browns, we're talking about the Browns uniforms today. Uh, they had a pretty big release. Uh, you know, people really did not like uh, the uniforms they released in 2015. And I can understand why. I, I don't hate them as much as a lot of other people do. They're certainly not their best product they've ever put out. Um, for example, the word Cleveland across was a little too much. You know, whereas I talked about the Falcons with the ATL. It's a little too big font. It's not like it's... You know, Cleveland is like, what is that, nine letters across the top? It, it's just, it, it's a little much to, to read. It's a little too much. Whereas the ATL is kind of simple. It's just a little too big on the jersey. But you can check that video out. I made a video on the Falcons uniforms if you want to check out my review of that. But the Cleveland wasn't good. And, of course, they had the Cleveland going down. The pant leg, uh, which also was not very good. So that just caused a lot of controversy uh, a lot of dislike among fans and critics and everyone. They also didn't play well with those jerseys either. I think they had like 16 wins and 60 losses or something like that. Maybe even 80 losses. They just it was it's it's the dark era of Cleveland, which is weird because they haven't won a playoff game in almost 30 years. But that's besides the point. Cleveland released their new jerseys today, and I have to say I'm impressed. They went with a more classic retro sleek look you know simplicity works very well with nfl fans with nfl critics it, it, it's just nice football is not is not a is not a sophisticated sport at the end of the day it's a very simple sport that's how it always has been the jerseys have always been simple and you know we're getting to a time where things are modernizing uh you know the game itself is modernizing and even you can see with new jerseys of xfl aaf they're changing things up the best jerseys are always the just the simple ones, the classic ones with the block numbers instead of this alarm clock Tampa Bay BS. But um, it's very simple, you know. The for the most the two jerseys, they're home and away. They've got the stripes on the side, they've got the stripes on the pants, they got the stripes on the socks with the brown and orange. By the way, brown and orange is a very hard combo to create something that people will like. So props to Nike for getting this done. Because I really like the jerseys. They're simple. There's nothing all over the place. There's no Cleveland anywhere. It's just straight up Browns. And I like it. Um, one thing that people don't like. or I'll talk about the jerseys individually. The home jersey is perfectly fine. Um, I'm a fan of it. Like I said, simple. Um, there's not really much you can do with the color scheme. It's not like you can go all crazy. And Browns fans and people were not expecting, you know, a complete overhaul with something new and modern because that's not what the Browns really were trying to do, especially considering their history, especially considering like their logo too. It's not a very, it's a very, it's probably the most simple logo in the league. It's literally just a football helmet. So that being said, you knew they weren't going to try anything different. They were just going to pay homage to their past, try something from the past, you know, kind of almost a safe option at the end of the day, similar to what the Bucks did. And the home jersey's fine. The away jersey's great as well. There's not really much to talk about because it's not something new. It's just something, uh, just something old. Just something, uh, just a safe option. Once again, just a safe option. Um, the color rush though, the color rush is for the most part new. Um, of course, we had the all orange alternates at one point that they had during this previous era. Then they had the brown with the orange as an alternate as well. But this brown uniform, I like it. I, a lot of people don't like it because it's just too simple. It looks like a practice jersey to some people because it's literally, it's all brown with an orange check mark for Nike and that's it. I like it. I think it's, I think it's, it's just so nice. It's just, it works, you know, because it's not, they're not trying anything. You know, the Bucks, for example, they had the all pewter. I'm not a huge fan of the all pewter. It just doesn't look it, like the pewter on pewter is just, it's just weird to me. 
And I know a lot of other people ha have that same sentiment. I know a lot of other people also really like the all pewter because it really hasn't been done before. And I feel the same with this brown. It's it's a color that really is not experimented with among other NFL teams. The Browns are not often one to try and modernize their uniforms. So to branch out like this and create a nice, just just plain brown uniform, I admire it. I really like it. It's just simple. You know, I, I keep, I'm going to say that word a lot of times in this video, but that's just how it is. It's just, they're very simple, but effective in what they accomplish, you know, and we'll get into the Odell Beckham in a second because Odell Beckham's name was on one of the jerseys uh, that they posted to their Twitter account, Cleveland Browns that is, and there's rumors that he could be traded, which is a little odd, um, but I like the, uh, I like the way the names also go across the back of the jersey the font is nice the font is just easy to read you know it's it's once again it's just simple uniforms you know other teams that have simple uniforms 49ers have very simple uniforms the Giants have very simple uniforms the Packers the Chiefs the maybe the Bears have very simple uniforms with stripe across the arms stripe across the pants stripe across the socks they don't change it because there's no reason to and it's it's always the same teams that are changing the jerseys up, you know. You you take a look at you know the Rams just changed their jerseys. They've changed their jerseys a lot. The Bucks are changing their jerseys a lot. The Falcons, it has been almost twenty years, but their designs throughout their history have changed a lot. The Cardinals will probably get another change soon. The Jets, why they changed, I'm not sure, but they changed and they're changed. I I don't really like their uniforms. They look a little too XFL -y for me, more so than the Falcons. But that's besides the point. Final review of Cleveland. I gave the Falcons a pretty low grade. Looking back at it, I've had more time to look at them, and I like them a lot more. But that's that's for another video if I decide to do so. Cleveland is going to get an 8.5 out of 10 overall. The home jersey, for me, is going to get an 8.5. Actually, I'll give them yeah, an 8.75 because we're going to give an 8.5 for the home, an 8.5 for the way, and a 9 for the color rush because I really like it. I think it's just simple, and you can't really ask for much more than simplicity. Otherwise, you're just going to be over the top. So that's my opinion. Uh, quick and easy. You know, nothing. once again, it's not a huge overhaul like the Atlanta Falcons or the Bucks weren't an overhaul. It was classic. I sh you know, if I would have done it ahead of time, I would have made a video on them. Um, I think the Patriots also are doing uniforms. Or maybe it's just a logo. I'm not sure. But the Patriots we'll talk about. I think the Chargers are doing something as well. We'll talk about them. But those are for the future. For now, this is all I can give you. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think of the New Jerseys in the comments. Also, let me know what you think of my opinion down in the comments as well. Um, just try to keep it respectful. I had a couple people in my, in my last video, you know, call me a 90-year-old grandpa that doesn't like change with my Falcons uniforms. Hey, listen, I understand what you're saying, but, you know, try to keep it a little nice. We're not we're not trying to hate on each other here. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video as well. If you didn't dislike it, let me know why so I can improve my videos, share with your friends, share with other people so we can overtake the Falcons video with this video. That would be dope, guys. Uh, perhaps I'll do another mock draft coming up soon with some updated information that we've received. Peace out, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.